Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in this tutorial I want to show y'all how to make your very own little bubble finished like um like metallic color shifty I don't know resin cabochons. So let's get started. In this experiment with resin I'm going to be using this cabochon mold set by Tiny Windows and different Perlex powders. Um, I've suspended some different Prolex powders in resin before, like mixing it in, but today I'm going to try just getting some here onto a brush and then kind of burnishing it into the surface of it like uh, of the cabs, like the inside of the mold, almost as if you were flouring a baking pan. And I want to make sure that there are no little um, puddles or flakes or anything like that. Like I want chrome finish smooth if I can manage it. Okay, so I am using Clearcast 7000. Um, and it's a warm enough day. I think it's like in the 60s. Um, so that'll be a nice contrast to a lot of the other experiments I've been doing have been uh, with pretty cold weather. Um, so we'll get to see how that sets up. But I'm going to follow the directions on the bottle get it mixed, get it poured in, and then I will meet you guys back here whenever we're unmolding it so we can see how they look. Alrighty y'all, so we're back. It's been a few days and you can see I actually did quite a few more um, here into the other molds and it's time to unmold it. Oh look at that. That's a real nice kind of pearlescent effect. Like, I really love that. Let's see how the other ones came out. And I love it. It just unmolds so cleanly. <clears throat> a really nice, really nice, like almost a cat's eye shine. You know, some of that's from the window, but also some of it is just from... And it used such a tiny bit of the pearl pigment as well. So that's really cool. Ooh, look at that one. I like that. <laughs> and I think what would be great about these is they are very translucent still, even though they have this finish on the surface that does not buff off. Um, now, I'm sure if I took like a sanding wheel or something to it, it would buff off. But as far as just regular wear and tear, I guess that's something that would be good to experiment with. But I'm thinking it would look really cool we backed these with LEDs in like cosplay purposes or um, like props or sun catchers. Oh, I like that too. Just some really cool different effects. <clears throat> and again, some of them, not all the bubbles came out of, but a really nice like pearly this one, it's not picking up on the color as much, but this was a really nice lavender. Now this one's probably my favorite. Oh yeah, it's the Inference Violet, which look, it, it reminds me of Rainbow Moonstone, the way that it's behaving with that nice like purple flash on where the light hits it. Like it's like purple and gold. And then this one I had used a larger silver glitter as well. Kind of like a starry night effect. I really like that one too. This was a micro pearl with a larger silver glitter. And then now this is, was just a gold. And I think that's just cute. And um, these will be perfect for wire wrapping. You could set these in chain mail. They're super, super lightweight. Like that's something that like this one is like, I mean, next to nothing. Not probably half the weight of um glass cab in a comparable size not to mention if you use like a gemstone or something that large so that's probably one of the best benefits of that one's really pretty too um resin is it's so lightweight and here's some of that sky blue really pretty stuff and i'm wondering how some of these might look back to like a silver paint like a high gloss silver but I really like that. 
And so just coming through, ooh, this was a rose gold one. I really like that too. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just my mood today, but I'm like, ooh, I like that. Oh yeah, though, I really like that. Like see how it's like catching the light. Oh, so nice. So I highly encourage y'all to experiment. I'd love to hear your ideas for different ways that this could be dressed up or applied. Shout out to Tiny Windows for their absolutely fantastic um, silicone mold. It's just perfect for stuff like this. Man alive. Like seriously though. And even these little ones. Oh so cute. Like I think for like earrings and stuff. Super itty bitty. I don't know, for me, that's super itty bitty cabs to like set in chain mail or I don't know, anything to cut down on the weight of earrings because I'm very sensitive, um, it turns out, to a heavy earring. So, and I'm sure nobody who likes big gaudy earrings is going to complain that, I don't know, they're too lightweight and comfortable to wear. <laughs> yeah, I say that, but people will complain about anything. But this is a nice little batch of, um cabs you guys like cured really nicely very little uh effort <laughs> if that makes sense like I don't feel like I put a ridiculous amount of work into these I kind of just I mean uh I'm gonna have to do quite a bit of cleanup though to keep them cross contaminating into future projects but I think that'll be fine Hey y'all, thanks so much for hanging out with me for this tutorial. I do hope that it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, please leave them down below. Um, if you would like to share pictures of what you've made, you can post them on my Instagram, like you can tag me, or you can post it on my Facebook wall. Um, okay, I'm just being silly. <laughs> um, but, yes. <laughs> super professional I promise um but yeah I love seeing what you guys make though and I'd love to hear your different ideas about ways that we could utilize these pieces um in different uh like jewelry applications co uh costuming home decor all sorts of different stuff I don't really know how well they bake so I don't know if I could incorporate them into my polymer clay houses at least not before being baked um but maybe if you're using an air dry clay this might be a, a wonderful way of incorporating some lightweight bubbles and stuff so but um if you would like to support the daily creation of my free tutorials please consider joining me over there on patreon um pledges start at just a dollar and every little bit makes such a difference for us even if you just come over and hang out <clears throat> you don't even have to become a pledger. I post a lot of stuff that's available to everybody to see, like behind the scenes content and stuff. But the more you pledge, the more you get. If you pledge $1, you get one entry into all of my weekly giveaways. And then if you pledge $5, you get five entries into my giveaways. And then if you pledge 10 or more, you still get five entries, but you also get digital download content. If you pledge $20 or more, you get the five entries, the digital download content, all the behind the scenes stuff, as well as a monthly craft crate mailed to you. And that is where you could actually get your hands on some different resin and polymer clay uh, cabs that I make, as well as some hand painted dragon eyes, some um, you know different gemstone beads, like a lot of the same stuff that I use here in these tutorials the rings that Randy and I coil and cut. Um, that way you can be crafting right alongside us. So be sure to go over there and check us out and like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all have helped us to achieve our wildest dreams. and I'm really excited to see where we can go together. So thank you guys again. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye. <laughs>